Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Wario Land. We are gonna finish off Sherbert Land today. Starting off with Course 17. What is up with that cloud? Oh gosh, it's a thundercloud. And it wants me dead. Thankfully, it turns enemies into 10 coins. How nice of it. How fortunate, you might say. Hehe, <laughs> get it? Speaking of fortune... There is a treasure in this stage. I don't know where it is. But there is one here. I had a bad feeling that might happen, that's why I left the bull horns back there. Anyways, what's up at the top? Where am I? What is this? There's a key. Why do I feel like Phanto's gonna come out of nowhere and try to kill me? That really felt like a Phanto room. Especially since there actually was a key there. I'm going up the Mario 2 tower to the first place where Phanto appears. That really felt like that. Alright, nice job, horns. I don't know where I'm taking this key, I assume into this tower. And you can climb with a key, apparently. Interesting. I had a bad feeling that was gonna happen. I didn't want to throw my key into the pit, but... I guess I should have thrown it. That is not how I wanted things to go. This is really not how I wanted things to go, and this is just to get to a checkpoint, too. This isn't even the treasure tower. Treasure tower must be the next tower. Yes, give me those ten coins. There could be a hidden door behind any of these blocks, but I don't think there is. I think that the only doors in this level are the three towers. Of course, now we gotta backtrack a little bit to get to that key. I had a feeling this might happen. I really hope this isn't ridiculously hard to play backwards. What?! Okay, I gotta complain about one thing. The hit detection in this game is pretty terrible. There have been so many times where I have clearly landed on an enemy and it kills me instead.
I guess I'll get the dragon power. It's better than not having a power at all. It helps me clear this stuff out easier, too. also gonna make getting out of here with the key easier. I do probably want to be Bull Wario, though. Heading back down. Seems like we're gonna have to carry this key for quite a ways. squeeze myself into here even when I'm big. That's not what I wanted. We made it to the other tower though, and as I thought, there is a power up here. Just let me go get it. No, what? I didn't realize there was ice there. Oh my gosh. This game. our way back up the tower, rinse and repeat. Hopefully not repeat any more than this, though. I am getting slightly concerned for our lives, too. by hedgehogs, so that's always a plus. Now to figure out what I need to do in here. Looks like I just follow the coins. I want to get the ones down here, though. There's the 
there's the treasure. I can see it. Just barely, but I can see it up there. Oh my gosh, and there's spikes above. And I'm pretty sure spikes are insta-kill, at least spiky thwomps are. Anyways, we got our treasure now, and we've got a jet, so never mind. At the very least, I think we're at the end. And I got trapped! Wonderful! We did get the treasure, though, so no more backtracking. Thankfully. I can break through this now and see if there actually was any doors behind there. Doesn't appear to be. Oh man, really? Oh well, we can get the jet right here, so it's completely fine. Okay, nothing in those blocks either. Let's take this slow so I don't get trapped again. I had a feeling that's how I should have been playing before. But I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep moving, and that was a mistake. Hello? Is that a harpoon-wielding seal? We're done with that level. Finish it off with the harpoon wielding seal. Yay, we're winning money! We're not winning money! Boo! So up next is over here, I think. Yeah, this is course 18. So there's a treasure in this level as well. Of course, the secret world has to have all of the secrets. Well, we know where the treasure is. We just need to bring the key there. Now, I could totally cheat this level by flying past everything with my jet, but let's not do that. What they want you to do is they want you to hit these. And now if I backtrack here, we get a secret ladder. You know, normally you just go forward. But going back brings you to that secret ladder, which brings you to this secret door. Which brings us to the key. Which we cannot get to, because we need to hit the switch again. There 
making us go a long way for this. But you know what, that's fine. I can get past these guys easy with my jet. Of course that would happen. Now guess who doesn't have a jet? But I can get bullhorns. So that's something, right? I'm glad that this treasure is really simple to get. It's a bit tricky, but what you have to do is pretty obvious. It's not like I'm just bumbling around wondering where it is or how I do this. Of course, now I gotta get up this without the jet. So that should be fun. Ah, it wasn't that bad. Let's not get crushed by the spiky thwomp. And take our key and go. I wonder if the thwomp can crush the key. I'm obviously not about to test this. Here we are! Give me your coin! Thank you. And here's our last Sherbert Land treasure. Looks like some sort of magic lamp thing, which is kind of odd that we're getting that now, considering... stuff. But we'll get to that later. Alright, so we gotta hit this block if we wanna move on. And we do wanna move on. Thought there might be an invisible block there. You don't want to touch that white stuff on the bottom. We found out before that that stuff kills you, apparently. I'm curious as to what's in that door, but I don't have the means to find out right now. We haven't got a checkpoint yet, so I'm sure that's what it is. Well, we can find out now. Yeah, it is a checkpoint on a ton of coins. I will take that.
you can charge into him from behind. I thought that might hurt you, but it doesn't. Don't you do this to me. There we go. I knew I just needed to defeat one more enemy to get my one up, and I did it. So we got all the secrets in this world, but we've still got a boss to fight. Man, I wish I could win these. That would be pretty uh, that would be pretty great. All right, we profited. I still think we're doing pretty well on money. I really don't know, but I think we are. I would hope that we are. I don't think it's that hard to get enough money. On to course 19. The boss level. Alright, so not too bad so far. Uh, it was in some tight quarters, especially since Wario's so big, but that didn't make it hard. Ah, now we've got these pencil pillar stabby things, whatever they are. Now we got a really spiky one. I don't know why I can't remember what they're called, the skewers. Man, that, uh, that hermit crab thing almost got me there. I assume that this is a checkpoint? Also, is there a block here? No, there is not. Sometimes this music reminds me of the cave music in, like, Donkey Kong Country 3. I totally can't remember if that door actually led to a checkpoint or not. I kind of zoned out. But this is probably the boss? Okay, it's not the boss yet. Good. I think it was a checkpoint. Please give me a power-up of some sort. No, we're just going to the boss. Why is there a door here? 
because you can just finish the level. That's a little odd. I'm gonna go back in and actually fight him. Man, I've been having terrible luck with these. We have apparently claimed this area, but we have not actually defeated the boss. So let's go do that. And I am gonna be getting these hearts because we kind of need them. Yeah, this game doesn't just... Like, this game gives you enough lives, but just barely. At least for my skill level and experience with this game. I really don't spend a lot of time playing the Wario games. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm not even gonna mess with that stuff over there. I w gosh darn it, I wonder what this boss is all about. I'm gonna have to fight him while small, apparently. Because there are just no heals around here for some reason. So there's a platform up here I can stand on. And I can probably... Yeah, I can jump on this guy's head. So... Okay, I can't do that anymore. I was gonna say he doesn't seem that hard, but then he protected his head, so now he seems significantly harder. Can I, like, defeat him by knocking him into the water or something? What can I even do at this point? What was I supposed to do? I am gonna actually properly defeat him. I will. And I will get my coins for it, too.
That snow guy almost got me. Okay. I have the power-ups now. So I should be able to do this this time. Really? That doesn't work? What am I actually supposed to do to this guy? Am I supposed to hit him in the back instead of the front? Because I would have assumed you hit him in the front. But I guess the back could work. They don't really make it clear that that's what you're supposed to do. Like, I just see his big white belly. And it's like, oh, hey, weak point. Like, they made it look like a weak point, and I know that that's how penguins look. You know, they have the big white belly. But still, that's the part that sticks out, so you'd think that'd be the weak point. And like, it even has that symbol on it. So that makes it look even more like the weak point. Okay, so you hit him in the back and he loses his little hat. I get it. And I beat him. And instead of a bunch of coins, he gives me a bunch of lives. I am... Honestly, I couldn't ask for much of a better reward. I really needed those lives, and now I don't have to worry about them so much. On the other hand, I do... I have been having some really bad luck with these coins. But it is a relief just to have this many lives now. Gosh darn it! This game doesn't want me to have any money. Anyways, we have officially finished Sherbert Land now. Also, why are there, like, two arrows on the map here? If I press down... It goes there. If I press right... It goes into Mount Teapot. Okay. Anyways, that is about it for this video. In the next video, we will be heading to Stove Canyon. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.